When you're working with paths, you're working with vector. I mean, that's what the paths panel primarily does. It allows us to hold mathematical information in a program primarily that's raster. But something's changed in Photoshop 6 that I really do like. We can now draw vector objects. Now, I'm not talking about the way it used to be, and that would be we'd come over here and create a layer and put a vector mask on that layer. This is not a vector mask. This is actually drawing vector objects. So pick up your pen tool over here real quick. Change this. This is important up here. Change the word path to shape. Now let me go ahead and move the layers panel over so you can watch what's going to happen here. If I come over here, see that little asterisk almost like next to the pen tool? That means you're about to draw a new shape. And if I click, I create a shape layer. And again, this is not a layer with a vector shape mask. This is a vector object drawn in a vector layer, new to Photoshop 6. If I come down, say, to about here, let me do about the simplest shape you can do, and that would be a triangle. Come to about here, and then you've got to close it off up here. Now, the cool thing is, that's actually a vector shape. If I come over here and pick up down here, we've got two tools, Path and Direct Selection. If we go to Path Selection and select the object, we can move it all over the place. If we go into Direct Selection, this is like Adobe Illustrator, and we come over here and we click on a point, we could move it if we wanted to. I could use my arrow keys, anything I want, but that's not all. If I come over here, here's an option for Fill. If I want to change the color, I can change the color. I can go to Gradient if I want to. Up to you. Here's an option for the stroke. You want to change the color of the stroke and or the size of the stroke. And you can change it to something other than a solid line. We now have the ability in this program to design vector objects and actually transport them in a save and maintain that vector viability when we print. That's pretty cool when you think about it. Now, if you come over to your pen tool, you do have other options. You have a freeform pen tool if you want to draw like a pencil. You can add or subtract anchor points. Oh, you can even convert. Let's at least do one of these. Let me go ahead and use the Convert Anchor Point tool, which converts straight to smooth or smooth to straight. And if I come over to this one right here and drag it, I suppose I could make that into a rounded top pyramid if I wanted to. All the control that we basically have with the functional pen tool in Adobe Illustrator is more or less now in Adobe Photoshop 6. That's pretty neat. On to the next.